Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I fly a whole bunch of different planes in War Thunder, and today I just unlocked the P-51D. Uh, I'm pretty excited to fly this plane. I've had a lot of experience in the P-51C, and it's probably one of my favorite planes in the American Tech Tree to fly. So without any further ado, let's hop right into a battle. Alrighty guys, here we are in the first match that I'm getting to use this plane and got super lucky with an air spawn. So I'm gonna climb at about 260 kilometers an hour probably up to 4,000 meters like I would do in the P-51C and then we're probably just gonna roll from there and see who pops up and who I can get to first. But it is a very, very good looking plane. And I've been kinda getting bored of the of the red tail camouflage. <laughs> Ready to mix it up a little bit. And uh since this is my first match in this plane. It obviously has no modifications, just default belts. Oh, uh, can't wait to see what this thing does with the two extra 50 cals. I did take it in a test flight and they just rip through planes. It's not even... 50 cals are pretty unfair if used correctly, which in this video, you will probably not see the correct use of them at all, because I can't lead. It's just part of how I play, apparently. I waste my silver lions until I finally get a kill. You get 10,000 silver lions from a match. But, uh, that's, uh, that's why we all play, huh? All of us got addicted to the enemy killed or whatever. The little deal that pops up after you get a kill. It is super satisfying to see. I'm wondering if that's a bomber, an interceptor, or a 109, because I'm sure that they're still prevalent in 4.3. Quick look at what everybody else has. You know, I recently unlocked the F4U, the 1C variant, with the 20 mils, and frankly, I do not like flying it. I just. I'm kind of starting to get the hang of flying the P47. I've flown it a couple times since I posted my video about it. Getting a little better, but. I much prefer the P-51 and the faster climb rate, specifically. Turn off whip here. Hoping that 190 is not going to try and chase after me, but he probably is. Yeah, most definitely. Drop the nose down a bit and try and get some speed. Just to make sure he's not gonna pull a sneaky. Okay. He's trying. Oh, my teammates are way too far away to help if I need it. He's getting on me. Oh, 
love it when the first ma the first match I have in a plane ends up like this, and I'm not gonna get any kills. But I'm gonna turn into him anyways. keyboard right now. Yep. Alrighty guys. So second match and hopefully this one goes better. I'm going to not be an idiot and I'm gonna side climb this time. So hopefully something interesting happens and I get a kill, but I will see you guys at altitude. Alrighty guys, we are up at altitude and we have a couple of different targets to choose from. I don't think I'm going to go for that 190, but I might, yeah, I'm going to go help this XP-50. Hopefully get that 109 off of them without, yeah, this is going to be a big, big swarm of planes that's about to happen here, I'm guessing, unless they're going to go after the AI. Okay, it looks like the XP-50 is on the 109. So I'm going to try and... Oh, see what I can do about this 190. Before I dive down. No, fire. Coming from behind. With these two throttled back a little bit. All the way, I guess. Do a stupid roll onto this 109. Miss everything. And run away. Like I said earlier, I cannot hit shots for anything. Even on my best days, I don't know what my problem is, but we're just going to head on this SU-6. That's gonna be it. I'm not doing I'm not doing anything. Oh, yep, no. Not happening. I guess it's just not my day to play War Thunder. Um so that's gonna wrap it up for this video. After I get some more flight time with the P fifty one D, I'll probably make another video on it. Um, but until then, if you liked watching, make sure you leave a like down below. If you have any War Thunder tips, I love to hear them. And if you want to see more of my content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you in the next one.